Welcome back guys, this is Unfinished. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Do not forget to follow us on all social media platforms. Today, we're talking about ethical leadership. And on to our next question, what principles do you think a leader should have before they're elected? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Honesty, integrity, um, to be a, a strategic planner, uh, honesty, at least whatever you're going to say, let it be with some truth. Like, I'm going to build a road, please build that road. <laughs> or, and integrity, you know, to when you, like, the finances, the funds that you're given, you handle them with diligence. Yeah. And also, someone who knows how to plan money. Lakini tu ya kwanza anafaa kuwe accountable. Anafaa kuwe pia na integrity. Na anafaa kuwe responsible. Na hiyo role amepewa. Ziko mob sasa yezisema zote. Mm. But hizo ndizo the main. Uh, like uh, honesty. Uh, mtu anafaa tuambie tu kweli. Kama ako na milioni. Uh, ama ako na. Siju ni yenye kwa mbao milioni zilio na ama ni. E, ni nini so anafaa tuambie niko na 50 billions hiyo e, kitu ya kwanza ni honesty asiweze kutuambia ati yako na 30 30 30 million then after one year akienda kuulizwa anaanza kusema sijui niko na 100 million alitoa wapi 100 million so hapo kuna kitu yenye ana feature kitu ya pili wanafaa kuwa wako na self esteem Kuna viongozi wengine wenye hawezi jikontrol hapo. It's like unaona ile siku ilikuwa ya maandamano. Unaona kiongozi anasimama, anaanza kutusi wa wanarika ati mimi sitaki kurudia maneno hapa ni sianze like trouble na watu. But I I think wamepata hiyo point yangu. So pia kuna like unaona zile wanafaa kuwa na zile fruits of the zile, ni saba zile za Holy Spirit. Eh yeah, so kuna mambo kama hiyo Juu na kitu ya mwisho wanafaa wajue Mungu kwa sababu ukikichagua kiongozi mwenye ajui Mungu hata anaonanga kila kitu ni bure. The first things first I need a leader ought to have integrity. A leader needs to be honest, a leader ought to be patriotic and uh, a leader needs to be independent minded, not leaning towards either the west or the far east or the far right. They need to be focused on the country and truly patriotic. A, a good example of such a leader is Thomas Sankara and another one was Patrice Lumumba. One Lazima kwanza mwenyewe kuna spiritual leadership. Two, lazima akuwe na good associations with people. Lazima ajue kuelewa na watu. Three, lazima akuwe na na intango equality. Yeah, number four, lazima akuwe at, at least na kujua kuchini kutembelea at least na na sometimes na eh. Five, lazima, lazima still akuwe atusikiza uh, sana. Yeah, so kusikiza tu wale leader wengine wako juu. Leader kwanza kuwe selfless. Akwe amechaguliwa yeye ni leader yes set, set yeye ni nini yes set yeye ni ruler yeye ni leader yeye ni nafaa tuambie tufanye hivi na pesa yetu anachukua tuambie tufanye hivi so leader nafaa kuwe selfless pesa iko kwa ofisi sio pesa yake yeye ana, ana answer lari yake kando saa pesa iko kwa ofisi si yake set yenye akipewa pesa na iba leader nafaa kuwe selfless ya yeah, hata honest leader sio kwa honest mtu akwambie wakifanya project akwambie pesa nilifanya hivi CTO anze hivi CTO unajua tulifanya hivi transaction ilikatwa hivi contractor alitoroka na pesa tunajua ni uli iba wakuwe honest ya na wakuwe na integrity hizo hizo tatu yes okay first of all they should have okay they should be people of empathy put yourself in the shoes of those being people who are electing you if you go there, you know Maureen, I've got a problem. When, I, when people see me, they see I'm representing Maureen's problems. Okay, when you go there, people should see that, okay, I'm actually working, but I'm not working there. I'm not there to just eat, benefit myself, grow rich, become rich and rich every day. I'm there to help the person who is down there, who cannot be able to access this, for this platform of being a leader. No, no, yeah. So uh, the principles, first and foremost, is integrity. That is the first one. We need leaders who are having integrity as their key, uh, let's say, uh, integral part. We need leaders who are honest. We need leaders who are accountable. That's one thing I would say. And leaders who are committed to ensure that whatever they promise the youths and also the nation as, as, as a whole, they fulfill the promises. 
So the accountability aspect, the integrity aspect, because if I have integrity, then that means I will uh, take responsibility of whatever has been given on to me, whether it's funds, whether it's also the law at hand and the constitution. So integrity is key and honesty as well. And these are some of the key, let's say, characteristics <laughs> missing from our leaders. Yes, they don't have integrity and they don't uphold the rule of law. A leader, a leader should, be, should not be self-centered. In, in leadership, uh, we say leadership is, a, is not about yourself. If it's about yourself, then you're becoming a ruler. But leadership uh, implies other people. You're not a leader unless uh, there is someone who can, uh, who, who can say truly you're a leader. If it's only you who, who claim to be a leader and others do not see you as a leader, you're you are actually a ruler. So what if we, we check our, uh, they check their, their characters? If, uh, you know, it's about building your character to lead other people. So if we could check on character, for me I think so many challenges we are facing will be minimized. Kwanza mimi naweza sema mtukao huyo leader kaa huyo kitu kwanza ndio sasa ndio sasa siku ya Kenya tumwamini tumchague lazima tuone na vitendo na cheki kitu kama tunaona yani ni ule msi anasaidia yani hadi kama yeye hajachuziwa na mtu tunaona tu ni ule mtu anasaidia mtu kama MC kama yeye si MC lakini anataka next time apiga ile kitu kitu ya MC anakuja anashikana hivi na MC pale fulani anamwambia mimi na mapesa zangu fulani naweza saidiana hapa twende tu tupe watu fulani watu fulani wanahitaji kitu fulani so unapata hata watu wakishana utisi wao msia anaenda kipea na hivyo wataanza kuwa na at least mtu ni wa maana unaona hata ile time utakuwa naeka kwa kilio kitu utakuwa naeka ni ile umsia hata ile time utakuja kutuomba kura tuko na nini ya kumpea bado na cheki tuko na nguvu ya kumpea kura all leaders eh, should uh, first uh, be uh, tested eh? their loyal no no not loyalty like their ethics these people we we give them a lot of uh, mandate you know, to control our funds, uh, to control the uh, taxpayers' money. So we need accountability. We need uh, educated uh, leaders who make uh, sound decisions on the lives of citizens. And uh, we, we should also expect uh, decorum as they conduct their businesses and uh, the businesses of uh, the citizens. Integrity. Integrity is the main thing in the whole leadership thing. Yeah, that's all I can say. Integrity has been mentioned a couple of times and I totally agree with that. But I feel like one thing that leaders should have in mind is that they are supposed to serve us, they're supposed to listen to us, so they are not our bosses. They're supposed to be humble and always keep their promises. Which takes us to our last question. What do you think are some of the effects of unethical leadership? Let me know what you think in the comments section at Y254 and finished. Lack of trust, to atapoteza trust among the, wale watu wame mchagua. Ukienda kule uonyeshe you don't have integrity, watu awata, awata kunini, watu awata kuamini tena, pia auta kuwa reliable, na uta kuwa independent, uta kuwa una, 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 una make decisions according to how people advise you and not according to how the decision need to be made. Jutaki kukosea watu. The main one is, uh, is uh, I'd say, poor governance. Because uh, unethical leadership leads to, you know, like, it may lead to corruption, may lead uh, to nepotism, may lead to many other uh, ill advised or uh, ill governing uh, forms which uh, affect, affect Kenyans uh, on the ground. Ay, corruption. Kwanza hizi ma corruption tunaona huku kwa hawa maimpi wa huku hawa maimpi wa nyo walivoti yes hao. Hawa walivoti yes kwa sababu ni pesa ilifanya ili, ili, ili yes. Si kupenda kwa hao, pia hawa wangekata. Lakini nile unape wa doom zuri, una, eh, unwana enye hii doom isto ipata hii. Mina sema, yes, unache ikise hiyo njo corruption ili enye, enye sisi. Hiyo hawa malida watu bambi na hae, unawana. Hini watu bambi hivyo, kituka hiyo sasa. Hey, effects, okay, Minda based moja. For example, covering uh, the youths some months ago when you strike, you know, in a kujina ribu supermarkets, in a kujina ribu the streets. So, kukwana ethical your government, nafanya kukwena some disasters to the societies, sometimes to the buildings, in a ribi, wa juu, vijanami, wa mekasirika. So, naona.
So fake one, you ethical your government or something. Okay, I, the effects of an ethical leadership when we have moral decay, we have high cost of living, we have uh, nepotism, we have favorism, we have the high, high rate of unemployment, which runs together with the nepotism and everything. And also they have some lawlessness because you find some people, one on like, since so and so is in government, I can do anything and go away with it. Nobody's going to hold, hold me accountable. No, no. Yeah. So I, I think those are the effects of um, ethical practices. Eh, si unona mambo na kumekua na corruption mingi, kukakua na economy na rudi chini, like the the main thing ni inji in a economy na teremuka pia inji inji inaenda viba unona like eh, kwa sababu ya kuchagua leader mwenye ako na maandili yenye si mema unapata like our country is not in the right track kwa sababu unapata corruption imeja every, every everywhere na hiyo corruption ukipeleka kwa court eh, inaendanga hivi pia wao hiyo court wanapewa corruption so tuseme like uchumi inakuwa mbaya sana zaidi so i think eh, leaders eh, wanafaa wachukue mwenendo wa our president eh, kwa sababu mi according to me akona maandili mema kwa sababu huyo ni mtu mwenye anafikia mwananchi anasikiliza unaona angekuwa na maandili mema hii time yenye tulikuwa tunaandamana kuhusu eh, finance bill Ange, angeenda assign but alikataa yeye mwenyewe so I want to say the source of evil ni corruption. Na hiyo inaletwa na kiongozi mwenye ako na maandili mabaya yenye si mema yenye yani hayapendezi. An ethical ni kwanza economy na nini? Economy na collapse. Una need education, gini hizi basic needs zenye ni lazima government ikuwe na provide education, healthcare hizo zote ni kazi naanguka development zinaanguka kwa sababu hakuna mtu ako na ethics ethics huko juu. Unaonapewa pesa, pesa inatengwa unasikia tumetenga hii pesa tuwafanyie hiki naanza tu vizuri kifika mali wanakata unemployment um corruption um find that in some institutions what is required you don't find for example like in hospitals services are lacking people are yeah the poor are suffering more and the rich are becoming richer yeah, and it's not happening in all of us a state of anarchy as we have seen, there's a lot of chaos and disorder in the country. The people are losing faith in the government. Yeah. Uh, we can say it, it's very evident in our country. We have slums whereby the money that ought to have been invested in uh, housing projects was probably squandered or laundered. And uh, now we have slums everywhere. We have lots of poverty. We don't have uh, as many foreign investors. A good example is uh, Singapore. If we compared ourselves to Singapore, we got our independence around the same time. I think they got theirs in 1962. We got ours in 1963. And yeah, the comparison, the, the difference is it's, it's very big. So yeah, the, that, those are the effects of unethical leaders being in power. And uh, there was one guy, uh, J.M. Kariuki, he used to say, why should we have a Kenya of 10 millionaires and 10 million poor people so, yeah, we should have asked ourselves that question back then. We are, uh, okay, as a country, we, we are heading nowhere if, uh, if we have an ethical leadership. And one is misuse of resources, misuse of funds, because the funds that are supposed to do certain things are now directed to personal gain. And that one is not helping the society at large. Okay, the effects, first and foremost, you can see from even the borrowing itself, from the government borrowing, whether it's the euro bond, whether it's funds, let's say, to kickstart projects like the SGR1, you can see these unethical practices has really plunged us into debts. We are paying for debts on money which we do not see what it has done. And also the budgets are being plumated into extraordinary and exaggerated figures. And also you can even see from, let's say, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, where even getting your passport which is, of course, your constitutional right, it's a hassle. You have to have kickbacks, getting your passport, getting your ID. So this unethical practices has really plunged us into what I would say an ethical society as a whole. Because now, in order to get things done, there has to be Kitu Kidogo, the KK, Kitu Kidogo. And this one is also being seen in our leadership as a whole, where funds which are 
set aside to do projects. They are not doing projects. We are having roads still date five years. They have not been completed, bridges, so forth and so forth. Even the airport itself, you can see the leakage and someone was paid to do that job. So it's very visible the unethical practices that are in our country and what sort of transformative leadership we require to get this country back on track and also for the future to be very promising as well. Some of the effects of unethical leadership could be uh, poor infrastructure because we cannot have development in the country if there is poor allocation of funds. Another thing is unemployment because we have leaders who only uh, employ people who are related to them or their friends, that is like nepotism, leading to loss of jobs for people who are actually qualified. We have come to the end of the show. Thank you for watching. My name is SK Gitonga, but before I close this up, I have a few comments I would like to shout out from uh, the last topic when we were talking about the things that you do not appreciate happening in a matatu. Uh, one of the comments was... Uh, Heartbreak is real. Someone else said, Madam Wanye Ukaliam tu, Migu, Kamagariko full. I don't know, I didn't think that happens. How do you sit on a stranger's lap? Kitunginini, Mimi Spindangi will our say who grabbed him too. It's like, Mkoni could do jacket in my vuto, Kwanza, Usikwena Mzigo, Kishawewe. And then lastly, somebody said, uh, tuned in from Riru, tuned in from Kambu, tuned in from Meru. Watu wa Kambu, Meru, Riru, hi. See you next time, guys. Bye.